Okay, let's take a look at this angle FK41 camshaft for a VW. Maximum grind lift that this manufacturer has built into this camshaft is 510. You see that up in the top left corner, valve lift, uh, intake and exhaust. So running duration is 269 with 4 thou of valve lash. And then it plots it out on the chart where we start opening at 15 degrees on the intake, go through the center, past bottom dead center and continue on to 47 degrees after bottom dead center where the intake closes. So what I'm trying to do here is see if the pattern all lays out the way it is on the chart in the engine based on the position of the valve. So at 50 thou a lift. And then of course the position of the uh, timing reference mark on the degree wheel on the front pulley uh, right at top center. It's kind of hard to see where the top center is on this because it's kind of tucked up under. There it is. Okay, there's our center line mark there. So I'm going to rotate this around. There's where the valve would start to open. And we're going to see if it opens before top, just like it says in the pattern. So here, if I rotate this back around, when I get it to on that parting line, let me make sure the camera's sitting in the right spot. My eyeball has to be a little bit different. But there's our 15 degrees. Okay, before top dead center. And we should see... Right here on the dial indicator, we're at 50 thou a lift. So there we go. So we're at 50 thou a lift. We're going to continue on the count here to see what the overall lift is. So another 50 makes 100. 200. Let me restroke my wrench. 300. Camera's wiggling around, so am I. 300. 400 and 10, 20, 30, 38. Okay, so I got 438 on the intake. So now based on 438, and again, looking back at this cam card, we'll go back to the timing degree here in a moment, but looking at the cam card, uh, that 438 lift is nothing near what I have on here. I have gross cam lift to 364 and I have maximum at 510. So that's always going to be achieved by the ratio of the rocker. So I just wrote down a couple things here. So here's our 364 on the pattern, right, which the manufacturer recommends. Okay. And with a one to one ratio rocker, which is typical Volkswagen stock, is 400 lift. Okay. So that gives us a little bit more lift. Then if we go with a 125, we should get 455 thou a lift. And if we go with a, uh, a 1.4, which we have right here, it should get us and calculate out to 509 or 509.6, rounded up to 510, which is the maximum lift by manufacturer. So you have the selection. You could run it at one to one, giving you 400 thou a lift. Um, this one being 438, um, I'm running stock push rods and I'm running lash caps in here. Maybe you can see here, I'm running lash caps. It'll focus in, there's the lash cap up in there. Okay, and then the one to five ratio. And that's, you know, and I've got a, a shim underneath there. I went with, I think it was a, uh, 30 thou shim under the pedestal for correcting the geometry to get me to where I could with the most amount of relaxed valve train movement. And that's the idea is to keep the valve train look, uh, relaxed. And I'll show you how I do this as we go through it. So now once we get to our maximum lift, if we come back around and I'm not sure, I think we got to go one more, but I think it's so if we bring it back to 50 there, we should be, the intake valve should be closing at 47 degrees on the, on the pattern. Okay. So I'm going to come around here and I take a look and I'll just continue it on to that 30, 40, 7 degrees. We're just past. So let me go back to it. And bring it back up to the 50. So if we end at that 50. So remember this is 50 thou a lift again. Okay, we should be close to that 
There it is, 40. Uh, let's just bring it right to the 47. Yeah, there it is right there. Come on, focus in camera. Looks like I put another image in there. There we go, look at that. It's magic, okay? Not sure if you can see that, but where the parting line is on it, 45, 46, 47 degrees, okay? So there it is right on the chart. So I know for sure, and again, if I bring that back down, then my valve should be zeroed back at zero, the starting point, okay? So it's all relaxed. Now, something I didn't talk about when I was going through this was looking at how much coil bind there is. There's not much coil bind in here. It is a double valve spring configuration. They are heavier springs than normal. Um, they're, I think, I can't even remember the exact numbers. I don't want to start spouting out bullshit, but um, it's up somewhere in the 230-ish range, open pressure. Uh, that's based on, again, how much lift I have in here to make sure that I don't have the coil bind. And there's none. There's lots of room in there. I mean, looking at it physically, there's probably... Oh, look at that. There's a hair right there. Um, so um, going through this again, looking at and setting the geometry is one, getting the rocker arm directly over top of the valve, and this should sit parallel to it. Okay, which it does. Now, the other thing I do, and I'll show you what I check at, is if I go back through the pattern again, and I'm going to put, the lift was uh, 438. So, oh, got to go the other way. I'm going to go all the way around. Bear with me for a second. So, when I get to, I don't like backing them up. i rather go around. I mean, this is a fresh engine. It's got lots of lube in the cylinders and everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to half the lift. So here we go, starting here. I'm not looking at the crank right now, but so there's 100, 200. It was 438. So let's go another 15 and another 4 to get to that half that lift. Now... I was taught this years ago, some guys don't really understand it, but this is what I do. If you look at, and it's kind of hard to see from this end, but what you want to try and do at half lift is make sure that the rocker arm sits parallel to the deck here. And if you can maybe kind of image that one, I don't know if you can maybe see it. It looks, don't look at the other ones because they're on strokes, okay? Um, but here at half stroke, that's sitting pretty well straight across. And the idea there is if you have it straight across, you're not moving the fulcrum point of the ratio of the rocker by having the geometry in the wrong spot. So geometry really is defined by the position of them. So right over the center of the valves, okay? And then how far in or out they are. And it's all based on also how much push rod you got. So I'm not going to change the push rods to get me up to that 455 a lift. I'm at 438. It's a turbo boosted engine. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. The valve train will be relaxed. I'm not going to lose a lot um, of friction because of a really high uh, ratio rocker. I tried the 1.4s on there and it's just way too much. It looks like there's no spring area left at all, but there's probably about 30 or 40 in there, but I don't know, we're supposed to go for about 80. So there's an adjustable push rod that I use also. So if I want to change at half stroke, if I get this lift and I can't adjust the geometry at half lift based on shimming it, then I'm changing that fulcrum point and I'm moving either too far forward one way which is gonna cause it to rock way too far this way or this way where it might not actually rock enough to give me the advantage that I'm looking for. So that's why you adjust them up and down and accordingly with the push rod. So like I said, at 438, I'm pretty happy on that. Um, it's not worth me buying and making a set up, but these are stock length chromoly push rods. Um, and I picked them just for the extra strength of the double valve springs on this turbo motor here. So um, it's kind of nice to see how the pattern all lays out, especially when you have the cam card. And, and I mean, I went through this also on the exhaust side too. The exhaust is a little bit of a different lift. Uh, we were at four, 
438. The exhaust was, I think, 435. It was only uh, 3,000 difference uh, in actual uh, difference uh, of height. So, again, adjusting these rockers here, you know, is based on the shims that you put in here or not. Okay, and how much you add in there. And you can see I've got some in here. This turns just a little bit snug right now because it's under tension load. Okay, because this valve's loaded up because it's going to push against it and take up the clearance. You want to check it uh, during the actuation so that there is something there. Okay, I can turn that. Okay, so you want to make sure there is something there, even if it's snug. But then you want to make sure that when it's off stroke, that it's not too loose either, or it's going to cause the rockers to walk around and it's going to make, add a lot of noise to your valve train and potentially create some wear because of uh, increased clearances. So there we go. So I thought I'd run through that with you guys and uh, let you know how I do this stuff and, and check it to make sure. And again, FK41 camshaft, um, it's a good build. Uh, I've run them in a lot of or it's a good cam for different builds. I've run them in different engines now, uh, and they all seem to be pretty successful uh, as far as making power. Uh, this is kind of a more of a bottom end cam and, you know, starts coming on around 1,000 RPMs and right up to about, I don't know, I'm, I'm running it in my stroker and it, I'm, I'm out about 55 and, you know, it's working pretty good at 55. But, you know, you can go a lot higher in duration and scream the snot out of these things. But this is a pretty good camshaft to run, so it's my recommendation. And again, always check your camshaft. Do the patterns on it to make sure that you're sitting correctly. The last one I did, an MP cam. Uh, instead of uh, opening at, for example, a 15 degrees opening like on this one, uh, it opened at 17. So it actually advanced my cam timing by 2 degrees just I don't know, just the way it went together. Um, and it didn't affect the rest of the pattern, but it allowed the intake to be just two degrees uh, earlier. So that gave me, again, a little bit of advance, and it's uh, it's a sweet-sounding motor with that, that little bit of advance in it. So there you go. 